Good afternoon, YouTube. It has been a long time since I've done a video. It has been uh, an unseasonably, well, it's always seasonably here in Arizona for the summers, but it's been really hot. And I don't know about you guys, but when it's hot, it's hard to make videos, not so much on me, but on my equipment. My uh, cameras just glitch out right away. And anybody have any advice on how to make videos in the heat of the day for more than 10 minutes without your equipment overheating let me know but on to the unboxing i have not done an unboxing so right here we have farmer tech a hutzel product i bet you can easily guess what's in here i was asked to do this unboxing by hutzel themselves and they sent me this wonderful box so when you go on the hutzel website i'll leave the uh, website below there so you can click on you can buy kits kits for chainsaws and this is exactly how it comes right over from china and it's about a week to two weeks to order this up they have all the labeling on you can use paypal you can use credit card it's safe it's effective you're not going to get ripped off so people who are worried about getting ripped off from an overseas uh, company overseas website hutzel.net is a very good one and you'll have uh, good success and you will not be ripped off so Let's get to the unboxing. So of course they have shipping papers in case they need to pass customs. It says exactly what they have in there. It is just chainsaw parts. And here we go. Let's get a zoom in on this. Let's get a close up of what we have. This is the Farmertech 660-066 chainsaw and all its parts. You will get everything that you need to put together a chainsaw. And they are so nice that they even leave them in uh, separated bags. So you're not going to lose them and misplace them, but kind of have some that's for your clutch. And that is your worm gear and your uh, oil gear, your uh, oil pump. So everything's in order where it should be. Uh, you have your, your power side takeoff, your cover, your, your brake band. That is for your intake. I know everyone's probably have seen this before. Oil and gas. Uh, what are these? These are going to be your dogs, I believe. Your felling dogs. So in here, you're going to have everything that you need to put together a chainsaw. Now there are a lot. Air filter. These air filters are surprisingly good. I used one. For the chainsaw that I've had for about two years, I use this exact filter. It is a flocked, um, probably like a paper style filter, and it kept out all the junk. Uh, amazing how, you know, being inexpensive it is, it kept out all the stuff. All your rubber components, your, buffer sp your buffers, your oil, your impulse line, your fuel line, starter. Your gas tank and your rear handle has all the electronics, the, the, the wiring already pre installed, so you just literally need to hook it up. You don't really need to worry about that. Uh, there is your uh, that's a flywheel, that's your ignition coil. Probably gonna lose some stuff here. And I believe it is a dual port muffler. Yeah, it's just a little simple dual port muffler. Nothing big. You can always modify these a little bit more. I haven't seen this one yet. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, the carburetor. Let me your carburetor. Everything packed up real nice. There's your clutch with your seven sprocket. Your seven pin sprocket. Your clutch and your... Um, your drum, clutch drum, brake. Ooh, this is a 
heavy. What do we have here? Oh, there you go. The crank. And I wonder if the... I don't know if it's in here. I don't think it is. Your woodruff key. The woodruff key. Those are hard to find. Sometimes you lose them. That just helps you get your timing right. It just goes in there. Kind of an index for your flywheel. So probably most of you know what I'm talking about here. Nothing new. Nuts and bolts, all in their individual packaging, which really helps out. So, you can use this for either clutch cover, piston and cylinder. Let's see how this... That looks okay. A lot of people will either, when they, when they get these open, they'll, they'll clean them up, or they will uh, put a different top end on them. But I'll run it with this. And then we have, last but not least, the powerhouse of everything. We have the two case halves with pre installed. This is nice. Pre installed uh, oil seals. Which really does make it easy. Uh, of all the times, thing, places where I've screwed up, it has been with the oil seals. They're hard to tap in. You use a socket, they get bent up, they go in there weird, and you don't have a good seal to it. And also, of course, the bearings on the inside. Not going to have a serial number. Uh, all of the threading looks good. Some guys chase the threading. The inside crank looks good. Where would the... I guess my question would be is the... The... The, the seal, the crank seals, or the, the seals in between the two halves. I'll have to look at those. Found the case seals. It's almost like a wax paper. I haven't quite seen one like this. Normally they have the black one that's pretty thick. This isn't too bad. I always put moto seal on both sides to line it up. A lot of people, what they'll do is that they'll replace this with uh, original equipment from steel. They'll do the bearings, they'll do the crank seals, and they will do um, oil pump. They'll do a couple things. So they'll spend, for this whole kit here, you're looking at probably uh, $250 to $300, depending on they have. Uh, Father Day sales, they have Labor Day sales, they have sales all throughout the year. And um, But figure you're going to spend about $300. That's going to be shipped and everything. So some people spend about $200 extra and they'll get all the, the parts that do fail, that they've had failures with, the seals, the bearings, and um, they'll make uh, kind of a, a hybrid between a steel and this and they'll get really good results with it. I just run it like this. They're fun to put together as is. Uh, if we look here, we look close, you can kind of see the cylinders and people have been saying how the cylinders are hit and miss. Uh, you kind of see the plating. That plating doesn't matter on the outside there because that's just the intake. But if we look on the inside, kind of the fit and finish along the ports, the transverse as they call them, the intake and the exhaust, it's not bad. You might want to get in there with a file if you can or a little uh, carbide bit and just kind of touch those up because that is one of the major f fail points where a ring uh, a ring will grab on there and snag up and ruin your piston and ruin your cylinder. These are super cheap. You can buy upgraded kits from Meteor. You can buy them from Cross. You can buy them from FarmerTech again. A lot of different ways of how you can put uh, a better piston and cylinder. But I'm going to run it how it comes. So there's the uh, not so quick unboxing of the Hutzel FarmerTech 660066 complete kit, rebuild kit, or if you just want to get a kit to put pieces on as you break them as you go. The assembly will take longer than I would like to make a video. There's actually a lot of videos online that you can find of people assembling them step by step. They do a really good job. Um, I don't know if I have the patience for that. You can find those. Maybe I'll tag a few of them in the link below so you can kind of uh, follow that. But it's easy. Just type in Hutzel 660 assembly and they'll pop right up. 
I would like to thank uh, Hutzel Farmer Tech for sending me this kit. I'm going to have fun with it. If you have any questions, post them below. Like and subscribe. Have a wonderful afternoon, a wonderful evening. Adios.